Arena Sabalenka versus Alina Svetolina is the second quarter final for the ladies event at the French Open for 2023. And both ladies have had different roads to get to this stage. Svetolina started the tournament off unseeded and will take on the number 26 seed Treveson in the first round. But she was able to demolish last year's semi-final as 6-2, 6-2. In the second round, she'd take on the qualifier Hunter. And after dropping the first set, she would fight back to win 2-6, 6-3, 6-1. -6 in the third round, she'd take on Blinkova. And again, after losing the first set, Svetolina would have to fight back to win 2-6, 6-3, 7-5. In the fourth round, she'd take on the number nine seed and last year's semi-finalist, Kazakina, who hadn't dropped a set all week. And this was by far the most impressive performance by Svetolina, getting through in straights, 6-4-7-6, to advance to the quarterfinals. Sabalenka started the tournament off as the number two seed and will take on Kostruk in the first round. This is no problem for Sabalenka, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-2. In the second round, she'll take on the qualifier, Shaimanovic, and after a close first set, would win in straights, 7-5, 6-2. In the third round, she'll take on Rakamova, and again, Sabalenka, easy winning 6-2, 6-2. In the fourth round, she'd take on Sloane Stevens, someone who had who'd been very successful at the French Open over the years. And after a very good comeback from Stevens and get to the first set tie break, Sabalenka would get through in a tight match, 7-6, 6-4, to advance to her first quarterfinals at Roland Garros. These two have played two times before with the head-to-head -head split down the middle 1-1, with their last meeting actually coming three years ago in Strasbourg, back when both ladies were in the top 10, Svetolina getting the win that day. But Svetolina's going to win this one, she needs to get off to a better start. She can't keep playing these long matches, especially against someone like a Sabalenka. You can't give Sabalenka the first set, because we've seen this week that when she wins the first set, she goes on to win the match. If Sabalenka's going to win this one, she needs to be patient. So many errors against Stevens, and there's a little bit of similarity between Stevens and Svetolina in terms of game style, so she needs to be patient, and she needs to go for the winners when they're there rather than trying to hit winners out of nowhere. This is going to be such a fun match. It kind of feels like we're back in 2020 or maybe 2021 when both these ladies were up the top of the tree, and what a comeback it has been after having a baby for Svetolina, but I'm going to go with Sabalenka in three sets. I think this is going to be the first time Sabalenka drops a set, but I think Svetolina might just run out of gas. She's played so much tennis over the last few weeks, and Sabalenka, she hasn't lost too many matches lately, so I'm going to go with Sabalenka in this one, but let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to make it to the semis.